Scientists are now claiming that extraterrestrial civilizations might have already reached out to us, sending signals that are too sophisticated for our current technology to interpret. Recently, a group of scientists has revealed that quantum communication might be the first method through which we could connect with alien life. However, they also warn that receiving such signals, especially from a nearby star, might not be beneficial for humanity. Meanwhile, some astronomers claim they may have already received a quantum message from an advanced alien civilization. The signals are so complex that these scientists argue it might be best not to respond at all. So, what exactly is quantum communication? And why do experts believe that receiving a quantum message from extraterrestrials could spell trouble for our civilization? The observable universe spanning approximately 90 billion light-years in diameter is home to at least 100 billion galaxies, each boasting 100 to 1,000 billion stars. Our recent discoveries have revealed that planets are remarkably common, with trillions and trillions of habitable planets likely existing in the universe. Given these numbers, it's reasonable to expect that life should have developed and thrived elsewhere. But where is it? It's puzzling that the universe isn't teeming with spaceships. And that's where this fascinating new study comes in. It gives a surprising and honestly convincing explanation as to why we haven't been directly contacted by aliens till now. Or better still, why we haven't interpreted their messages right. But to begin this fascinating exploration, let's first establish some important context. In 1950, physicist Enrico Fermi sparked 74 years of scientific debate with a casual question during a lunch break at the Los Alamos National Laboratory. Where is everybody? The assumption that aliens exist and occasionally engage in activities that we should be able to detect has led to numerous experiments, but so far, we've found nothing just as discomforting, eerie silence. Several experiments have been conducted to search for signs of alien life. Radio searches for artificial transmitters, such as those by the SETI Institute and Breakthrough Listen, have been ongoing for decades. But although we've found some signals, which we will discuss later, it has no conclusive evidence of alien existence. Beyond radio, there have been limited efforts to search for optical transmissions like brief laser pulses and surveys for weird eclipses of distant stars that could indicate alien megastructures, such as the infamous Boyajian star. And of course, researchers have searched for infrared excesses expected from Dyson spheres, hypothetical stellar energy harvesting machines. This debate has partially driven the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, which has traditionally focused on detecting radio waves or laser signals sent across interstellar distances, guided by classical communication principles. However, a recent study by a Canadian researcher suggests that the next breakthrough in SETI might come from quantum communication. This new approach could not only explain the Fermi paradox, but also boost quantum communication research and, who knows, potentially put us in touch with our extraterrestrial neighbors. But do you know what exactly is quantum communication? Quantum communication is a revolutionary field that delves into the transmission of information using quantum bits, or qubits. Unlike classical bits, which are limited to being either zero or one, Qubits can exist in a superposition of both states simultaneously. This means quantum communication can do some pretty cool things that regular communication can't, like sending super secure messages that can't be hacked or intercepted. It's like sending a secret message in a locked box that can only be opened by the intended recipient. This extraordinary property enables quantum communication to perform tasks that classical communication can only dream of, such as quantum cryptography, teleportation, and superdense coding. Quantum teleportation, on the other hand, enables the transfer of information from one particle to another without physical movement. 
And with super dense coding, quantum communication can transmit multiple bits of information simultaneously, exponentially increasing data transfer rates. The potential applications of quantum communication are large, and researchers are now exploring its possibilities. And if there are any technologically advanced species out in space, they would use some communication method that we haven't yet invented, something like quantum communication. And this is precisely where the new paper comes in. A recent study published by Latham Boyle from the University of Edinburgh and the Perimeter Institute for Theoretical Physics explores the fascinating idea of interstellar quantum communication and its potential impact on the search for extraterrestrial intelligence. Boyle's research suggests that photon qubits, a type of quantum information carrier, can maintain their quantum coherence over vast distances, including those between stars and even galaxies. This raises the tantalizing prospect of interstellar quantum communication, where civilizations could potentially communicate with each other using quantum signals that are imperceptible to our current SETI methods. In other words, advanced alien civilizations might be able to send messages to us using quantum signals that are like whispers in the cosmic wind, undetectable by our current listening devices. Here's the point. Quantum communication leverages the unique properties of particles, like photons, to transmit information. In traditional communication, data is typically encoded in the wavelength, polarization, or number of photons. However, when you factor in quantum properties, the possibilities expand. You can entangle photons in various ways, allowing you to pack more information into them. The more photons you entangle, the more data you can convey. This makes quantum communication more efficient, enabling you to convey the same information in a shorter message. Another advantage of quantum communication is its enhanced security. If someone intercepts your message, you'll know because measuring it will destroy its quantum properties. This adds an extra layer of protection to your transmission. Lastly, quantum communication is the natural choice for transmitting quantum information. If advanced extraterrestrial civilizations have quantum computers and want to upload their results to a galactic cloud, they would likely use quantum communication. It's the most logical way to share quantum data. But how do intergalactic quantum transmissions work, and why are we not picking up the signals? Although we've received several signals from outer space in the past, like the mysterious WOW signal and other unidentified fast radio burst signals are quite different from what we hope to uncover using quantum communication. We are only beginning to understand how quantum transmission works, and to preserve the quantum information during transmission, the photons need to avoid interacting with other particles. If they collide with atoms in the interstellar gas, it would cause a loss of coherence and destroy the signal. The likelihood of this happening depends on the photon's wavelength. If they're too long or too short, they'll likely be scattered or absorbed, either in our atmosphere or during transit. According to Latham Boyle, the paper's author, the optimal signal would be near-infrared photons, which could maintain entanglement from one end of the Milky Way to the other. However, there's a catch. To make this communication work, the photon beam needs to be extremely focused. This requires either enormous senders and receivers or repeater stations along the way. By enormous, we mean very, very large. The author estimates that the senders and receivers would need to be around 100 kilometers in diameter. While that sounds like a massive telescope to us, it might not be an insurmountable challenge for a sufficiently advanced civilization. It's possible that aliens already have a galactic internet with repeaters scattered throughout the galaxy, and we're just missing out because we don't fully grasp quantum mechanics. Boyle proposes that advanced civilizations, if they've mastered the art of quantum communication, could be sending signals entirely beyond our reach. 
With our current technology, we would have no clue they were out there. Quantum signals would be so precisely targeted that only the intended recipient could detect them, making them virtually invisible to any other telescope, including ours. This approach contrasts sharply with classic communication, where signals are scattered far and wide. In Boyle's view, civilizations using quantum channels may be exchanging messages we'll never catch without a serious tech upgrade. Moreover, the study suggests that these civilizations would likely know whether we even have the gear to pick up their signals. Boyle explains, if they've got a telescope big enough to send quantum messages to us, they'd also know we're not quite equipped to receive them. Though still theoretical, the idea of interstellar quantum communication could transform the future of SETI, offering enticing benefits like heightened security and faster transmission speeds that physicists and astronomers are eager to explore.